This is our list of individual donors. You can see that we can hold organizations too. And I can filter the list if I wish. On this occasion, I'm going to filter on members whose membership expires on the 1st of October. Now let's look at one of our donors. As you can see, we can hold lots of data against our donors. Crucial for any charity is the profiling questions below that allow us to segment our contacts for marketing purposes. These questions are created and defined by you, the user. Look at the right of the screen. You can see that we make notes and can hold documentation against each donor. At the top ribbon, you will see that we can create interactions with our donor and also raise a pledge or donation immediately. Here, on the navigate area of the ribbon, we can create any segments or mailing groups for our donors. And we can also enter a to-do or an opportunity. Back on the card, we can select the last date of interaction with our donor. As you can see, we've sent our donor a thank you letter and she has attended an April event. Below, we have the communication details for our donor and also a list of the mailing groups and segmentation that our donor may belong to. This ends the introduction to S4C donor management.